Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the 2010 Mazda 3. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for such a warm welcome, LA. And as you can imagine, I'm really, really proud of our design team that has worked on this car all over the world. But I would like to uh, point out one particular person, our chief designer, Chris Hassan, and his team, who is here with me today. Chris Hassan, raise your hand, please. We did such a great job on this car. As you've heard, the Mazda 3 for us is really more than a special car. We took Jim's challenge, evolution or revolution, and being designers, of course, we wanted to go into the revolution direction. But that said, we knew that the car needed to remain a Mazda first and foremost. A car that we could use to bring in new customers to our brand, but also a car that should continue to delight and surprise the loyal and faithful customers that we already have. Customers that love to drive, customers that are young at heart, and customers that are not afraid of a little bit of technology. So from a designer's perspective, what was really important and critical is that this car would communicate what Mazda really stands for, which is zoom zoom, the emotion of motion, and not least of all, the soul of a sports car. So we imagined ourselves walking up to our garage, sliding open the door, and fooling ourselves just for a minute that there is actually an exotic sports car sitting in our garage. And the way we did this is we achieved this by lowering Mazda's five-point element grille and concentrating all the air intakes around it. Then we designed beautiful, high-tech, jewel-like, Nagara-inspired headlights that also have an adaptive front light steering system. And finally, we placed the Mazda badge prominently in the center of the hood. Changing the layout to this more sports car-like layout actually improved the airflow management dramatically. By concentrating the air intakes where they are really efficient and leading the remaining air around the vehicle, we actually managed to improve the aerodynamics and this, combined with a host of other tricks, improved powertrains and also lightweight technology and light, lightweight strength steel and stuff like that we managed to increase the fuel efficiency by 10%. So, this was a perfect example of how design, function, and beauty can come together in one vehicle. Then moving on to the side and the rear, you can see classic sports car, long hood, coupe-like cabin, high rear deck proportions. And also, we have the strength and dynamism of the shoulder that ends in Mazda's trademark RX-8 fenders. Now these fenders not only tie our whole lineup together with a coherent look, but they also differentiate ourselves in the marketplace. And also, they visualize, they visually shorten the car by placing the wheels in the corner of the vehicle. Now of course, we didn't forget the interior in this car, because of course, this is where you spend most of the time. And this is where a crush turns into a love affair. Now inside, you will find a level of quality and craftsmanship that is unparalleled in this segment. We chose carefully when it came to choosing materials and surface textures. We reduced the amount of parting lines, we improved the layout, and even developed new fonts for gauges and buttons. And to make sure that everything was developed with love and care, we tried to squeak out every millimeter of this interior where possible. The seat cushions are a little bit longer, the interior luggage space, which was already excellent, has even increased a little bit more. The large dash, which sweeps from left to right in soft touch materials, wraps itself around the driver. And high on the dash, we placed a multi-information display right in the line of your sight. The controls are placed intuitively around the driver. So, in a nutshell, this interior really sends you a message of fun to drive. It is modern, it is sophisticated and it's very sporty. But the new Mazda 3, not only does that, it also offers you a level of equipment and content that is simply not found in any other vehicle of this range and class. 
It helps our customers that are looking for ways to spend less and get more in this new economical climate. So let's run through a couple of these game-changing features, shall we? We have dual zone climate control, a segment first. Eight-way power driver seat with three position memory, a segment first. Multi-information display with compact navigation. Adaptive front light system, segment firsts. Bike scene on auto off headlamps, segment first as you can guess. And then all the other features that you would normally expect from Mazda. Dynamic stability control, up to six airbags, interactive interior lighting, push button start, and Bluetooth hands-free telephone and audio connection. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the new 2010 Mazda 3. It is not just a new car, it's everything we stand for with our brand. We've put our hearts and souls into this product, and we hope you like it as much as we do. Now, we think it not only moves the three in the right direction, it moves the Mazda brand in the right direction. And speaking of moving the needle, we'd like to see if we can move your needle a little bit by providing you with Sprinkles cupcakes at the end of the, the press conference. So please, come up and take a look at this car. Have a nice day.